Hey there, Gumbo. You having a good snooze? You gonna say hello to all the woofers and YouTubers? All right, folks, this is Bill from Gumbo from my own homestead. And we're here on a rainy day today. I'm probably just gonna stand here and watch the rain dripping down from my sunshade. But have a little chat. So here we are on Long Island near New York City. We are a small farmette. Now I say that because I would have loved to have had a full size farm, but as best I can, this is the size I've got, which is roughly a garden. Oh, as I'm looking at it now, it's roughly 20 feet wide, 25 feet wide, let's say 30, I don't know. And about 75 feet long. Um, I'll slide over to the side here. You can kind of see down the side here to get that sense of the depth of it. But past that little doghouse, and in these gardens, I try to grow as much as I can, as efficient as I can. I could be better, but it's essentially partly educational, experimental, informative, keeping me busy. But I do enjoy sharing what I know and what I learn with woofers. And we've had woofers here before that showed up on rainy days. And you know, on a rainy day, it's, it's quiet on the homestead. Most projects can be put off, the ones that can't, We'll do in the rain. But we're hoping to find some woofers that are interested in a short stay that would like to do some planting, some harvesting, and um, maybe exploring around the Long Island and the, the south shore of Long Island um, a bit. We hope that we can find someone's got a, an interest in um, just kind of learning a little bit about some permaculture, sustainability, uh, organic growing, I mean, I, I try to do a little bit of it all, all on scale, um, composting, greenhouse, whatever. We, we try to do it all. And if there's a specific interest you have, we can focus on that. Otherwise, there's always the gardens and there's always a few weeds that need to be pulled to keep the gardens happy. So as I pan around and I show you that these are the gardens, oops, I should probably tilt up a little. So you can see, you know, they're managed. Um, they need to be weeded. It's uh, therapeutic at times, monotonous at other times, <laughs> and horribly boring if you can't find something to entertain you while you're doing it. But it's what we do here. Um, we currently have, on a roof, I'm going to zoom back out and turn around here. On a rainy day, like today, we'll put our selling wagon under the overhang, you can see. Um, because it's, it can be tricky for me to keep the produce dry. And if it goes bad because of moisture, it's just not worth it. Of course, the tomatoes won't have problems. Um, but my garlic, you know, it's, it's bad enough that it's super duper damp out here right now. And it's not drying the garlic, but being that it's under the overhang here, it's not gonna be a problem. You know, and then just my cash box and signage, it's just a hassle if it gets all wet. The plants would love it. I mean, they're enjoying the humidity. I'm hoping that they're kind of coming through. We got basil, we got some zinnias, three-way basils, two-way basils. Um, around the back here is some dill. The dill is going crazy. I don't know, I've never had such good luck with dill. I've had different experiences, but I'm looking to get that into some salads real soon. Of course, I'm gonna flip my little sign here and you'll see. We've got no shortage of cucumbers, you know? There's just tons of cucumbers coming out. Um, with that said, as I look out again in the garden, I'm going to zoom into my, my cucumber bush here. <laughs> and I don't know if it's so blatantly obvious from here. I hope you can see cucumbers. I can't see any here. I think I pulled most of the ones I had. But off of these two plants, I've probably gotten easily 75 cucumbers. <laughs> I mean, a lot. There are more cucumbers all the way in the back that just recently took a turn for the worse. But we've got enough cucumbers, I think, to last us. Tomatoes just started coming into ripeness only about a week ago, very late this year. So we've got enough to keep ourselves um, in business, so to speak, and, you know, use examples of how we grow things. So, woofers, if you're interested, um, contact us through the standard woofing methods through the online messaging system. And uh, we hope to see you maybe someday soon. Bye-bye.